This video is brought to you by Dynamic Custom Beadworks, now officially licensed by Capcom. Check them out at dynamicbeadworks.com now to get your own custom video game sprites. Next stop, Lakeview District. Nazis here, Foster's top side of the. Get on ya! What's the name of this fucking place? We're on the roof of the Lakeview apartment building. Think we can hold out for a wee bit, but these Nazis keep coming like torrential diarrhea. Terror Village, we've met up with your people on the roof of the Lakeview apartment building. That ride of yours better get here soon, because we won't hold out much longer. Hey, Conrad, you up and went on a tropical cruise with our boat? The Nazis are fucking killing us here! Fergus, I read. Sorry, it's being held up. Working to resolve the problem. Anya, help everyone get on board the U-boat. The Nazis will regroup and attack. Hurry up! Laskowitz gets your ass up on the Lakeview apartment building roof and climb on board the U-boat. We spotted the Altsmerzer on the radar. It'll be here any minute. Haul ass!
Blazkowicz, all of the evacuees are on board, but we can't leave. Props are stuck in the mud. We're stranded, and the outsmercher is incoming. If it gets here before we bail, we are fucked. I say it's time to ready the nuclear cannon. What are you talking about, Fergus? I figure the shockwave from the atom bomb could push the boat out to sea. Now that's the stupidest fucking plan I have ever heard. Set. Well, for every action, there's an equal and opposite reaction. Blazkowicz, hop on the nuclear cannon and fire it to maximum distance. I just hope it's far enough away from us not to rupture the hull. Got it. Looks like the Alice Mercer lost track of us. Clear skies on the scope? Friar Angle commands it now. Using it to hunt terrorists. But in the way back, the Alice Mercer would roam from city to city, crushing any resistance. Now, if we ignite a revolt, you can be sure the Alice Mercer would swoop in, put an end to it, break and say hell's bells. But we gonna start this revolution. We need to put an end to the Alice Mercer firstly. So then we mount a surprise attack. Conquer the Ausmercer and use it against the Nazis. Well, the Ausmercer is protected by an automated security system called Odin. Seen it when I was up there. We'll hijack the system, find the Odin codes, and disable the fucking thing. Yeah, but that kind of information is a top military secret. Only the Oberkommando is privy to it. Sounds like your basic Nazi military facility infill. I'll break into the Oberkommando and steal the information off their uh, computing machines. Not a problem. Except for the fact that the Uber Commando is now on fucking planet Venus. Venus? Ever since you obliterated the Uber Commando at Roswell with that nuclear bloody warhead, the Nazis have been trying to shove the shite back into the horse. So, they moved the Uber Commando to another fucking planet to keep it away from us. All of their top brass, all their top military secrets have been moved to a fully secured base on Venus. Venus. There is no way you are making it to Venus, sunshine. I don't care how mighty your arsenal or how much fucking manpower. There is not a hope in hell you can bypass all that security. Yeah? Not with that attitude. Except maybe there is. In two days, final auditions for the role of the infamous terrorist William Terribilly Glaskowitz take place on the enigmatic Aristat habitat on Venus. One of the hopeful actors is Jules Redfield, here getting a snack from his favorite milkshake bar in his hometown of Needles, California. What you thinking, Anya? William and I are going for milkshakes. His papers are all in his glove box. Yeah. What about him? Mm. Well, is he a Nazi? You a Nazi fella? Mm. Mm. Can't even 
can't tell no more. How I look? Like a walrus. Don't forget your luggage. Remember, you are Jules Redfield, professional actor, traveling to Venus to audition for the part of William Joseph Blaskovich. Now, you are summoned by personal invitation, so security should be minimal. Break a leg. Mr. Redfield? Mr. You, Sir Redfield? Oh, uh, yeah, yeah, that, that's me. I'm Helena, the director of this film. Apologies for the long journey, but my producer favors a safe location and has an affinity for dramatic settings. Uh, come. Oh, uh, my, my luggage. Someone will bring it for you. Come, come. Welcome. Welcome to the audition, Mr. Redfield. Now that you're all here, I ask you to prepare yourselves. You must be off book for this audition, so be sure to memorize your lines before the producer gets here. He has a volatile disposition, so be careful what you say and do in his presence. Mr. Redfield, I can't stress enough how important it is you learn these lines by heart. Your script is on the chair. I will be with you shortly. Can't blow my cover. Better keep a low profile. How am I supposed to remember this shit? I'm gonna write this down. The casting director saw me on a mystery show. Thought I had the right face. Places, places, quickly! <coughs> Hide Hitler! Hide Hitler! <laughs> in mein Büro. Würden Sie mir bitte verraten, wer in Gottes Namen das ist? Ja, ja, es sind Schauspieler, mein Führer. Schauspieler? Ja. Äh, diese Männer wollen für die Rolle von William Josef Blaskowitz vorsprechen. Es sind Schauspieler. Es tut mir leid, meine Nachricht hat sie wohl nicht erreicht. Was? Und Bessere konnten wir nicht finden? Keiner von denen sieht dem Kerl auch nur ähnlich. Ja, 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 das kriegen Gott wir. Noch mal. Das kriegen wir mit Schminke hin, mein, mein Führer. Oh ja, Schminke. Mhm. Gut. Das ist magisch. Ja. Magisch. Magisch. Schauspieler. Geschult in der Kunst der Verkleidung und Täuschung. Ja. Ähnlich wie Spione. Vielleicht ist ja ein Spion unter Ihnen. Sie haben sicher alle mein Buch gelesen. Oh, yes, mein Führer. And my children have read it, too. I loved it, Mr. Hitler. Super good. Mr. Hitler. Wenn Sie mich ansprechen, sagen Sie mein Führer. Verstanden? Haben Sie keinen Respekt vor Autorität? Ihre Worte gewähren Einblick in einen höchst verraterischen Geist. I am so sorry, mein Führer. Sind Sie denn ein Idiot? No, mein Führer, sind Sie ein verkleideter Schurke, ein Jude? Ein verräterischer Jude? No, no, mein Führer. I'm... I'm from Arizona. Schafspelz, konspirierende, lügende, niederträchtige Juden. Ich erkenne sie schon von Weitem. Wenn Sie mein Buch gelesen haben, wissen Sie, dass ich die Wahrheit kenne. Und wer die Wahrheit auf seiner Seite hat, der gewinnt immer. So konnte ich die Welt von den Juden reinigen und so konnte ich die minderwertigen Kommunisten in die Knie zwingen. Oh, so ging das. Ich habe ihn vernichtet. William oh, Josef Platzkowitsch. Oh. 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 
Helene. Mein absolutes Meisterstück. Das Jahrhundert Epos. Und mein künstlerisches Erbe. Wer mein Drehbuch liest, der wird die zahllosen Stunden zu schätzen wissen, die ich aufgewendet habe, damit jede Szene, jeder Zeile, jeder Silber fehlerfrei ist. Bravo, mein Führer, bravo! <lacht> Willen. Mutti, mir ist so kalt. Weg! Weg! Sie! Helene, zusammen mit Ihnen. A cold-blooded terrorist. That is what you are. What the hell did I write? And you are a Nazi whore. You monster! What are you going to do to me? I will rape and murder you. So many German innocent lives you have killed, but the German race will rise again! Shit. I will murder your dirty race too. Die Worte waren richtig, ja. Aber sie haben anscheinend nicht die mindeste Ahnung von der Psyche eines Mannes wie William Josef Blatzkowitsch. Wie können Sie sein, was Sie nicht verstehen? Sie. Spielen Sie die Rolle. Füllen Sie, füllen Sie, füllen Sie die Rolle. A cold-blooded terrorist. That is what you are. And you're a Nazi whore. You monster. What are you going to do to me? I will rape you. And I will murder you. So many German innocent lives you have killed. But the German race will rise again. And I will murder your dirty race, too. <laughs> Sie könnten von ihm lernen. Ich gebe Ihnen, was Sie brauchen, um den Geist dieses Irren zu verstehen, dieses dreckigen Untermensch. Oh, ich kannte ihn. In- und auswendig. Und darum konnte ich ihn gefangen nehmen und ihn der Gerechtigkeit übergeben. Äh, mein Gott. Mein Gott, habe ich Hunger. William Josef Platzkowitsch. Aufgewachsen in Mesquite, Texas. Mischlingskind eines Verkäufers und einer polnischen Jüdin. Die Mutter wurde vom Vater ausgeliefert, starb in einem Vernichtungslager in Neumexiko. Selbst als Erwachsener waren seine geistigen Fähigkeiten noch die eines Kindes. Und tatsächlich, als wir nach seiner Exekution aufschnitten, konnte man sehen, dass er Jude ist. Helene, machen Sie weiter. Ich bin müde. Aspirants, as you know, this role is very physical. William Josef Bloskowitz was not a man of intellect, He was a man of action. The scene takes place right before the scene you did earlier. Blaskowitz is about to plant the bombs that will massacre the German children in the orphanage. But first, he must eliminate the brave soldier standing guard outside the school in a brutal fight scene. Mr. Llewellyn Ewing? Llewellyn Ewing. Yeah. 
Why don't you start? You will each improvise a fight sequence. And uh, once the guard is eliminated, uh, you finish the scene by reading the lines from the cue card, exactly as written. Places. And action. <coughs> oh, 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 stop, stop. Oh, God, I, I, I'm bleeding, I'm bleeding. I, I, I need to take a break. Line, please. Yeah, I, I need a doctor. Line. Your bravery is no match for a Neanderthal like myself. Besides, I only know how to fight in a dirty manner. And now, to kill all the innocent children, Germany's future. Ha 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 ha, what? Oh, God. Ah! Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. Mr. Redfield, please, the floor is yours. Mr. Redfield, no! Ah! Oh, she's seen. Oh. Oh. Is that what you wanted? Is that what you had in mind? You Nazi asshole. Because that's all you're getting. Oh, God! It's more than perfect! Let me help you unpack, Mr. Redfield. What the hell is that? yourself, Adolf. I'm leaving here with your secret Odin codes. Then we steal the Ausmerzer, take out General Angle, and show the American people what revolution looks like. Viele waren es bei dir. Zählen Hinrichtungen auf? Ja. Dann ab. Ich war auch mal in einem Feuer gesteckt. Keine Ahnung, sie sehen bei den tödlichen Kugeln. Wo kam? Wo war das denn? Vor meiner Stationierung hier habe ich im Gefängnis von Eisenwald gearbeitet. Eines Tages gab es einen großen Terrorangriff und einige Gefangene versuchten zu fliehen. Viel Krawall, viele Tote. Irgendwann schaute ich in die Ecke und wen sehe ich da? Wen? Den verdammten Terrorbelly! Alpha is 
gesichert. Wiederhole, Alpha ist gesichert. Als ich auf der Venus eintraf, ging die Sonne auf. Ein... Bitte Zugangsdaten eingeben. Achtung, Fehlfunktion, Navigationssysteme beschädigt, nicht, nicht, nicht. Notfallausruf eingeleitet. Landung in T-3, 2, 1. Air 
feels heavy. Brutal heat. Like Texas in August. Time to break into the facility, find the Oberkommando, steal the Odin code for General Angle's ship. Slick as a whistle.
I'm burning up. Call this a howling hellscape. That view is prettier than a pie supper. Deja vu. Damn, I'm burning up.
Welcome to the Ober Commando. Population? Shitload of assholes. You got my Odin codes, assholes. Commando. Population? Zero. All right. Now I gotta somehow get to that main terminal and bring home the Odin codes for the Asmerzer mission. Emergency lights on. Where is everyone? Something is wrong. Be ready for anything. Happy birthday, William. Here's to you, all American. Yeah! <laughs> 
didn't think I'd make it this long. Well, here's to Brother Blaskowitz, toughest motherfucker I ever met. Terrible! That's some hot damn good banana cream pie right Max there. Max made it! Make some! <laughs> now, here's some wicked love. <laughs> gonna tear a hole in poor old Orton's tummy. <laughs> Boys! <laughs> so, how was Venus? Did you bring me back anything? Well, the uh, souvenir shop was closed, but brought you this. Holy shit, Blaskowitz. Well, I absolutely must tell you about the silver fish. It's definitely the truth. It's a very small <laughs> Seagram! Yes, Paul Quicks! Listen, I'm gonna need your Nazi eyeballs on this one. I am not a Nazi. Whatever. Look, I'm trusting you to decrypt the Odin codes so we can disable the defense system and hijack the outskirts. Yes, for Chris. But please stop calling me a Nazi. Oh, oh, I'm sorry. Did I hurt your Nazi feelings? Suck it up, princess. <laughs> you still here? <laughs> no, I <I'm> said <still> <laughs> Oh, what the fuck? God damn it. Oh, shit. Now it's on. Comrades! Brothers and sisters, thank you very much. Tomorrow we are gonna shoot Nazis until we run out of bullets. But tonight, tonight is for Blaskowitz. Here it is! starts with corn and on occasion we've done barley but I think well I like rye but he usually does corn and then with is still drunk and was supposed to be in the air by now. Can he fly in this condition? Well, he sure can't fucking fly with one arm. Okay, Horton, Anya, get him some coffee or something to sober him up. And Blaskowitz, fly Fergus's fucking arm before this whole operation turns into a shit show? God damn. Hey. Fergus? Fergus. Fergus. Hey, wake Can up. Can you hear me? Hey. Fergus, it's Anya. Hey! Come on! Oh. Come on! Come on! Come on! Come on! Come on! I tell you, when a man's gone teetotally drunk and disorderly, there's only one cure. <sighs> What's that? Old Horton's patented hangover blaster. 
Sure, he doesn't swallow his own tongue. No. What's in it? Uh, let me see. Uh, a tablespoon of ketchup, mm, orange juice, half a tin of anchovies, two raw eggs, chili pepper, two teaspoons, a dough chicken stock, if you got it, a cough syrup, and a, about a cup of fine whiskey. Looking for Fergus's arm, mister? Sorry to disappoint you, but I was kind of too busy getting wasted to pay attention. No siree, Bob. I haven't seen Fergus's arm here or anywhere, Captain. The traveler sure throws some crazy fed old door. <laughs> Goodness gracious. Last night, sure take the cake. in there or something. Bonjour, Chef. Any luck with your search? Captain, let me lay something out for you. I'm afraid. You know that Nazi bunker in Manhattan? Pigs use it as the base of operations. Well, we intercepted a transmission detailing all of the combat equipment they got stashed up in there. Get this. On the list is a fully operational constrictor harness. You should check out the brief on the wall map, man. For real. When I speak to Fergus at party, both arms were attached to shoulders. I think. Hey, Terp. Hey, Pershak. So, I'm looking for Fergus's arm. You seen that thing? You know, I did see Fergus late last night. See the loss over there? Christ, man, don't look. I was meaning to give her this rose, and uh, I wanted to say something romantic here. Uh, romantic, right? No, on occasion. Right. <laughs> Nothing sleazy. Uh, she's a good lass, and mm. I wanted to know I'm an honorable man. So, how's this? Maria, ever since I saw you, I've been wanting to do this. And then, I hunted the rose, and I say, this rose is a symbol of my good intention. I hope you'll consider going out with me. If it's honest and from the heart, it's all that matters. Oh, the hell, I'm nervous. I don't want to fuck this up. Let me play something to set the mood. Ever since I saw you, I've been wanting to do this. Ah! What kind of woman do you think I am? I have had enough of you, you stupid fucking arm. I will teach you some manners. You saw him storm off toward the hangar. Mm-hmm. I don't think I've ever seen a man that angry. Thanks. Billy, I might have some information for you. was last seen heading for the hangar fuel depot. Maybe he left his arm there. Mr. Blaskovich? Oh, just got off a book and crawl away and die somewhere for all I care. I haven't That's seen Fergus's eyes. I have one major just pet in looking. fact. He has bad metaphors of living. Okay, Arm. Where are you hiding?
looked for something, I'd stick my eyes right out. Naxos. <laughs> Did you want to show me something, darling? Max. Anything? No, he's still out. <laughs> Who you trying to fucking kill me? And there you go. Old Horton's patented hangover blaster always delivers. Boom! What are you lot loitering around for, huh? Have we got a mission briefing to attend? Party's over, let's go. Inconceivable. Incomprehensible. Sorry for uh, going off on you about my shirt the other day. You're a good lad. Makes us. My brothers and sisters. My brothers and sisters. Check this out. In less than six hours, Frau Engel is going to make a scheduled appearance on the Jimmy Carver Show, live from Hollywood, California. Now, while that bitch is getting her ass kissed on national television, we're going to infiltrate the Ausmercer, disable the Odin defense system, and hijack her ship. And then we find that bitch, and we take her out. What you got? Frau Grace, I decrypted the Odin codes Herr Bleskovich brought back from Venus. Turns out, it's just one simple word. Valhalla. Type in Valhalla in any of the Odin terminals, and you will have permission to shut down the automated defense systems. Well, all right. Now, fuck off, Nazi. Like I was saying, we are going to find that bitch, and we are going to take her Grace. out. What? Don't ever call me a Nazi again. I am not a Nazi. You do oh? not have the right to label me as something I am not, as someone less than yourself, as someone less than human. <sighs> Say it! Say I'm not a Nazi! All right. Okay, I get it. You're not a Nazi. <laughs> and you... <laughs> I'm in love with you. Don't you understand that you... Idiot! And it hurts. It hurts that you are so stupid you don't love me back. But I will dry the tears from my eyes. Get over it and move on. Because I don't need you to be happy. I would just be mentally using your body from time to time for my own personal pleasure. And there's nothing you can do about that, Sigrun. But I'm leaving, okay? No, wait. Don't be silly. Oh, you coming with us. All right, Sig. You're the expert here. Lay it out for us. We have to approach Fest in law. That will buy us time before we are detected by Odin's radar. Once we are directly below the Outsmerzer, we must ascend rapidly and vertically. This will give us the greatest chance of surviving Odin's opening salvo. If we are lucky, we make it back out before Odin has a missile lock on us.
However you want to handle this, William, I will follow your lead. We're in. There are three different Odin control centers on the Ausmerzer. Two of them controlling the automated defense system. The Hugen control center for the port defenses. The Munin control center for the starboard defenses. Finally, there's the Odin main control center for the ship itself. Understood. How do we get to them? There's a terminal concealed in the floor in the center of the room, which will open the door leading to the Hugen control center. Found it. The other parts of the ship are harder to access from your location. Bring up the ship's genetics in the terminal and see if there's a way to reach them, Anya. William, find a Hogan control center and shut down the port defense system. I'll stay here and try to figure out our way around this ship.
H A L L A. Well done, William. The port defense systems are offline. Get back here as soon as possible. I think I found a way to reach our other objectives. William, I need some help here. Hurry, please. transport pod there on the other side. I've reprogrammed this to take us to the upper parts of the ship. We can reach the other Odin control centers from up there. Hold on. I love you, William. There's another shaft on the other side. You should be able to reach the Munin control center from there. I need you to go there and shut down the starboard defense system. I'll keep making my way to the Odin main control center. on the Odin main control center. Let's meet there once you've disabled the starboard defense system.
William, now that the starboard defense system is shut down, you can go back out to the troop deployment hall and climb up the robotic deployment arm. I'm outside the Odin main control center. Lots of activity in this place. Get here as fast as you can. Side. Must be the old main control center. I'm on my way, aren't you?
you feel it, General. You are the old and weak. And this is your day of doom. Me. You got your shit, bitch. Look at here, Frank. I'll still shoot your shit in the TV. This is your dress? I stopped it with a trash bag. Hilarious. Wunderbar. Wunderbar. We'll be right back <laughs> with more from General Angle and Decapper after this. Can I stay here? I just can't be a part of what must be done. It's okay, Sig. You've earned your keep. Now for the rest of y'all, y'all ready to start a revolution? for your wide shot. Stop, Gunther. Stand by. What? Look! Stay on the air. Go do what you have to do, darling. Jesus, it can't be him. I'm just feeling it, General. Doom is coming. Players, money can buy. Please leave your tip on the way out. <laughs> All right. Okay. Welcome back. We're here with a true hero. One of the biggest names we've ever had on this show. The scourge of terrorists everywhere. General Engel! Yeah! Yeah! All right! Thank you! General <laughs> all right, all right, General. This needs to happen up close for you, Caroline. Take us through the moment you executed Terror Billy. What, what, what was that like for you? you? It must have been so emotional. Well, Jimmy, I remember as I was swinging my saber, I thought to myself. We are safe now. Terror Billy was a terror. What the hell? You're dead! You fucking I crazy shit! Oh. I killed you! Oh. 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 Lady, it's not the best you got. Then your best won't do. You're among wolves now. Oh. 
Stuff in your face. Full of bright words. As you're sitting in front of your Nazi television boxes. Just laughing. <laughs> laughing all the lies they've been feeding you. Laughing till you're choking. Well, it ends tonight. Oh, yeah, it ends tonight. My brothers and sisters of the United States of America, mm -hmm. tonight, we, the free people of the resistance, ask you to become one of us. These lying. These are lying. These are threatening, these are torturing, these are killing. They beat you in submission. They beat you. They, they made you, your very thoughts to cry. But if tonight, you gather, speak freely from your heart. Yes. I'll use one of us. Right on. And if tonight we see you on the streets with a knife mm. or a brick, or just your clenched fist fighting the powers that be, then you are one of us. And if tonight you look down upon your hands and they soaked in the blood of our oppressors, then you, he's one of us. Yes. If tonight you hold your babies in your arms, I swear they'll grow up to be free people, then you are one of us. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Did you forget? They brought this war to our shores! Yes, yeah, sister. And then they beat us! They murdered us! They executed us! But guess what? Tonight, they also find out that they fucked with the wrong country. My brothers and sisters mm -hmm. of the United States of America! Mm -hmm. When we stand together, ain't nothing and no one can take our country from us. Tonight, they burn. Tonight, you are one of us. All right, so that wraps up Wolfenstein 2, The New Colossus. Uh, I have to admit, I actually went with a different run this time around. When we went on the stream, we actually saved Wyatt instead of Fergus. And for the sake of seeing all the different stuff, I saved Fergus this time around instead of Wyatt. I have to admit, the Wyatt ending is actually a lot better than the one we just saw. But I do hope you enjoyed this playthrough nonetheless, so thank you very much for watching, I appreciate the support, and as always, whether you're watching this in the archives on Twitch or on YouTube, be sure to hit that subscribe button, leave a comment down below, and share the videos around. Thank you again for watching, and take care.